At this stage, I have all the designs uh, cut out. So I'm sifting a very small amount of what's called opalescent white uh, over the cutouts that I have to give me the basic shape of the animal uh, when I start painting. Uh, this also um, minimizes the uh, tendency of the paint to crack uh, when it gets uh, fired. So here you can see I pull the stencil away and uh, I have the outline of the animal. So I go through this process with all uh, four of the lamb designs. And uh, here are those designs uh, once they have dried. Just a very basic outline of the different shapes. With a very, very, very thin coat of opalescent white, which when I fire it will almost disappear. So now before I fire these pieces, I, uh, I scratch some details into them. So I'm just removing the grains uh, that are there uh, where I'm going to need the shadows later. So I just use a, a pick and I blow uh, away the grains and, uh, and that gives me the different shadows. Um, again, it gives me something to deal with when I start painting, some, something to go by, a bit of a guideline, an outline. Um, and it also uh, makes sure when I take these little grains away that I can build up uh, deep shadows or leave deep shadows and build uh, the other parts of the animal higher. So here's what the pieces look like when they're scratched. This is a particular lamb. And then after he's fired, you can see that the, that the coat is very, very faint. And here's uh, the second skipping lamb uh, with some of the shadows. And after firing, again, it's very, very faint outline. The third lamb, which is a lying down lamb, um, it's better to take uh, more away uh, because I can always leave a shadow, but I can't take away uh, the white. So here's the fourth sitting lamb and after he's fired. So now I'm ready to 